Hey there, Luminary here, bringing you interesting tidbits from around the gaming world. Today is Monday, November 14th, 2011, and this is what I have for you today. I have a kissing contest. <laughs> it's not mine, though. It actually belongs to Austin Games. Um, they're launching Kiss Island, and they're wanting people to submit their most interesting, funny, technical kisses to their website, and you could have a chance to win $2,000. Let's see here. It's listed here as, let's say, the most passionate and sincere kiss is assessed at 300 The most technical kiss is assessed at 300 The most funny or unusual kiss is assessed at 300 And there's a super category where it combines all the features of the above listed, and it is at $1,000. And that's kind of interesting. It states here, one and the same kissing video can be nominated in all three standard categories and one super category at once. This way, the author can earn $1,900 plus $100 more from Austin Games for an outstanding victory in all categories, which totals $2,000. And from what I understand, this is a worldwide event. I don't think it is limited to just the U.S., which is kind of cool. Uh, it says that the restrictions is, are, is, well, I guess it would be is because there's only one. You have to show your I, your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad demonstrating any version of Kiss Island for no less than 10 seconds in a shot. So not only do you have to create this fantastic, you know, moment kissing, uh, you know, <laughs> I just thought of this. They didn't say you have to kiss the opposite sex or the same sex. You kiss the mirror, I guess. That would be an interesting video. You know what? I want somebody to do that and credit me for that idea. Hands down. Either way, yeah, so you have to feature, you have to demonstrate the game for no less than 10 seconds in a shot. So you can have like a whole video of somebody playing Kiss Island or whatever. I have no idea what it's about. Anyway, the contest page is at uh, kissisland.net. And you can find more details there. And again, it's by Austin Games. And you can find that at uh, austingames.com. That's Austin is in O-S-T-I-N. That should be pretty interesting. Other than that, there's really not much else I can talk about as far as the uh, press releases are concerned. They have um, Skyward Sword being released here soon. And just like Skyrim, we're going to have a whole slew of crappy playthroughs. If you're going to watch any playthroughs, I don't know if Games and Stuffs is going to do it. But by far, if I'm going to watch it, I would watch his channel in a heartbeat. I think Jesse Cox is going to be wound up in Skyrim for a very long time. <laughs> if he adds another game to his schedule, the man's never going to sleep. That's pretty much what's in the press releases. Uh, that took my interest. And I mentioned Skyward Sword just because, well, it's Zelda. And again, if you guys know that I like all original Nintendo games, that's definitely worth noting and mentioning. In other news, in my personal news, I have... Taking it, I have taken a position at Nordrazil Radio as one of their staff. I believe they're going to allow me to put on a show every Saturday at six. No, it's four p four p.m. Pacific time, and now I've got to come up with material for that. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm going to have a lot more flexibility, and I'll have the tools to do what I need to do. In fact, what I might end up doing is, is I might actually end up using my skills over there for what I'm doing here just to create a better experience on my channel. Either way, so I've got to come up with a show, and that means I get to play music if I want. That means I can talk about video games all day if I want. That means I can sit there and go derp -de -derp all day if I want. And Nordrazil Radio is actually pretty darn big. You can find Pride there. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Morfar, I believe, isn't there anymore, but he used to be a part. He used to be the the founder, if I remember correctly. But uh, a bunch of nice guys. I've, I've talked with some of them on the forums. They've they've contacted me on Skype, and I've I've been on their IRC channel. It's really really a great bunch of guys there, and uh, <laughs> I actually got to listen to uh, uh, the band Hammer today, and yeah, it was funny. They they I think they renamed it the Drunk Hammer or or something like that, where the DJ I think after every song takes a shot. <laughs> it was the silliest darn thing I've ever seen. But hey, it's run by an Irishman, so that's all that matters, right? Right. <laughs> well, at least he said he was Irish. I guess after all that alcohol, you could be just about anything you want. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Uh, if you guys have any ideas of what I should do for a show, I mean, after all, the, ra the radio is for the gamer public, and I'm all for doing gamer stuff. I would be more than happy to take ideas and suggestions and apply that to whatever I'm going to do on North Brazil Radio. If not, I'm going to come up with my own ideas and balls to it. Okay? So, yeah, in two weeks' time, I will have my own show on North Brazil Radio. I've given you a kissing contest worth $2,000. I believe the deadline is February 14th, 2012, at 3 o'clock in the morning, Pacific. So be sure to get all of your kissing videos in. In fact, it even says you can enter as many videos as you want kissing. So if you didn't think you did the last one right, it doesn't matter. Make another one. <laughs> Just follow the rules. And the rules is you have to... You have to d demonstrate the the kiss island for no less than 10 seconds. How about that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Luminary, and I'll see you next time.